World TV, today is Tuesday, the 4th of January 2022, and um, we are here at Umweru Recreation Club. The occasion is the Umweru Free Medical Outreach. You can see the people are here, they are coming and going. The resource people who have doctors, who have nurses, who have the pharmacy people issuing drugs. Um, and I have with me here one of the key people who made this possible. And I have the honor of the presence of Chief Ejon Equivi. Thank you very much. So, Chief. Um, This um, wonderful thing that is happening here. I've been here from the beginning, and I've seen people come in, go out. I see some coming dejected, and uh, when they were leaving, I saw relaxation, <laughs> you know, and a, a smile on the faces. And I understand you are part of this program. Yeah. Mm. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Actually, the project comprises Umweri, uh, American Heritage, and uh, the Recreation Club, which I'm the president of Umweri. Uh, I've done this, uh, this uh, medical outreach uh, last, uh, last 2019. Uh, it was because of this COVID that we skipped uh, the 2020. And, uh, Take it off again this very 2021, even though we uh, entered 22. It was a project of the ending of the year 2021. So we have um, decided to collaborate with the American Heritage so that we help our people, give them medical attention because of the cost of this medical outreach. Where we come and take the, have your test free and we um, um, give giving medicine and uh, other drugs so this is actually what we call it. That, that, that's what the program is for is, is about yeah. and uh, you said the program was initiated by the american heritage foundation it's a collaboration it's a collaboration between the two American, American, American and, Heritage and, and the MWA Recreation Club. And, uh, okay, so what role is uh, you are representing, you are the chairman of the Umwe Recreation Club. Mm. So what role are you playing? Uh, the Umwe uh, Recreation Club, you know what it means by the collaboration? When you collaborate, mm. you do things in joint, uh, as a joint venture. Okay, so there's no specialization that the no, 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 no. Okay. And I'm wondering, the, like you said, Umweru Recreation Club, you know, why is the club interested in medical outreach and in the health of um, Actually, health is worth um, the first um, the first thing you give any human being is health. The first care you take give them health before any other thing. But we thought that health is the best thing we will uh, give the community. That's why we are up to this. Oh, okay, mm. okay. That, that's interesting. So how has it been going? Understand this is not the first time you are doing this, yes. for what you have said. Yes, yes. You did it before, and last year you couldn't because have it because of the COVID. Of the COVID yeah. But shouldn't the COVID problem have uh, been you know, that, more recent? That period there were restric restrictions. Mm. Of movement. Of movement, yes. Uh, we, most, most of our me, me members, from, especially from the America, they couldn't come out, mm. they couldn't uh, arrive. And uh, because of the restriction of movement, mm. we felt that uh, we should curtail our exposure. Exposure. Uh, exposure. Because, okay, I think that was wise. Mm. That was wise. So this year, able to do it. Yes. Um, and before the COVID uh, of last year, how many times had it done in, in the past? No, 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 that was uh, 19, 2019. Mm. That was the first. It okay, was so this should have been the third, but this is the second. second. Okay. Mm. So, how have you found it? 
from that 2019 and this year's experience. How we found it? Uh, yes, I mean, how what has been your experience of it? Oh, it's been nice. The one of last. It's been nice. It's been nice. Um, we are a little bit of uh, uh, what I would call uh, was it like call it communication because people were not uh, really well informed of this very last one. Mm. Uh, there was um, the other last 2019, there was um, this um, information that was disseminated in the churches. Okay. That's where you get many people mm. Mm. to know what's going on. Yeah. Uh, go ahead. So this time around, I think it was omitted by the committee uh, that handled the, the, that aspect. That's why I can see that uh, we have more uh, turnouts in last uh, mm. 2019 than this year. Okay, so you feel, you feel that the, uh, the turnout this time is not mm. yes, yes. as much as... Yes, yes, yes. Mm. it's not as much as that of 2019. Yeah, okay. Just because of that uh, hitch, mm. whereby uh, the, 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 the committee did not remember to... Um, uh, take the messages to the, to the churches. churches. And things. Okay, okay. So that was one way. That's one way that this one of this year is different than the one of the previous exactly year. Exactly. Um, have you noticed any other way that this is different? No. no just no. that. Instead, just I would say we have more uh, of our doctors mm. who even added to the uh, number of doctors we had before from Mumuiri. Okay, so uh, there are more doctors. There are more doctors. Mm. Like uh, Dr. Carr was not there before. Okay. Today he's there. He's Dr. Vincent Oka. Vincent and yes. Dr. Amete. Mm, Dr. Barry Amete. <laughs> okay. Dr. Barry Amete. Uh, uh, Dr. Okay. Barry Amete. Uh, Dr. Okay. Barry Amete. Okay. So, so we have more of our member, our doctors. I was really impressed to hear those names, mm. <laughs> you know, <laughs> when I heard of somebody like uh, Dr. Vincent Oka, yes. uh, you know being here for this and uh, I said wow this means something yes. it means something and uh, Dr. Ahmed also yes. came in from abroad yes. also for that uh, that is that is interesting I must congratulate you Thank and uh, Umweri Recreation Thank Club uh, for this yes. um, I know you are not in the consulting rooms yes. with the doctors yes. but um, I noticed one thing particularly um, I find that most of the people who have come are the cream of the society. Okay. I, I would have thought that this would have been targeted towards the, the indigent and those who cannot afford medical care. But I find that I've seen a lot of my friends here, and, uh, I mean the top people in the community coming for this. Why is that, do you think? Uh, maybe because of awareness. Because of awareness, you know, there, there was uh, this banners placed in many places, from here to the interland, in mm -hmm. Yes. And um, there was uh, this motorcade uh, uh, announcement yes. which went round. But I think it's only these churches which was omitted by the, the committee mm. that would have brought the down to the. Yes. Uh, I think that's the case, as I said earlier. Mm. That's the cost. That, that is the cost of that. Mm. Okay, so uh, looking forward to the future ones. Is there going to be another time? Yes, we are hopeful. You are going to do this yeah, again? Yes, yes. You are happy enough with this to want to do it again? Yes, yes. Okay, mm. so uh, as you look forward to the 2022 edition, yes. this 2021 edition, yeah, yes. right? This 2021 so, edition. Uh, as, so as you look forward to the 2022 edition, mm. what would you want to do differently? Differently. Yes. Okay, all those uh, errors will be, will be uh, corrected now mm. so that we have more uh, people mm. being aware and uh, attending. Okay. So I think all the little, little correct, uh, errors will be corrected. Will be corrected. Mm. So that, like you observed, mm. everybody, including the dance will be here. Will be, will be here. Mm. Thank you, thank you, Chief. Uh, it has been nice talking with you. Thank and you. It's been an honor meeting you for the first time that we are meeting. Uh, 
Thank you very much, and thank you very much for the effort that you are making. Thank you for uh, the God will bless it. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much. You are aware of what's going on in yeah, the Yes, thank we you. are doing our best. God bless you, sir. So, Ndu, <laughs> I, I was really happy to see you, see you here uh, in this uh, program. Yeah, and uh, I was wondering what uh, an American person will be doing. We are having free medical attention for you. <laughs> uh, are, are you also here for the treatment? Um, well, yes, and um, we are the organizers. Okay, you are one of the organizers yes. of the program. Yes. Well, that's interesting. Yes, yes. First of all, I'll introduce myself. I am well. I'm up on the in America. But I work, I be another medical outreach. I did show an arrow the Nairapoli. I can only imagine some people. It was ever cough. It was ever blood pressure cough. Naka, it got so I can't go on and I wonder if I have a swell about the aware, but I need a So, I believe I name a area. I see American able to talk. I put all go up. Uh, or the people in Nigeria will refill every month. You know, uh, I will arrange my time on ground. They are all go back, go back, they will refill. Mm -hmm. And uh, yes, I am a go for a couple number of years and uh, it's been helping our people uh, very, very well. Okay, so um, what's your role in the program? You say one of, you're one of the organizers. Okay, I'm um, the newly elected president of the um, American Heritage Foundation. Yeah, so uh, our organization in America, uh, I'm going elect the new president. So uh, I was in a time of my life, my predecessors, in the HSA 2.0. One night, I was in the, the president before the last one, okay. actually, Fire uh, mm -hmm. Okay. for the president, to say, Johnny Onim, we continued it. Mm -hmm. I'm going to pull out some other medical equipment, I've been at the, every three years. This, when I one I actually distributed to various uh, uh, medical facilities, and when I'm with Hey, okay, okay. Hey, tell about General Hospital. Tell about Seriously? Now. Yes. That's interesting. Yes, we have them packed uh, at uh, some at the best place, uh, palace, some at uh, Dr. Dr. Carr's place. So, they are getting and getting. I want to say different kinds of uh, equipment, um, more colonoscopy, more different kinds of serious equipment. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that we've, we've had packed for a while now. We need to deploy them. Yeah, we are there with the in the bank. Mm -hmm. So no avant chapu se vai ne me. So kadi bedi na bedi ka be ka yetinye ndi am. Um number 1 bu general hospital mm. Mm. The name well uh, the health facility in uh, Sahara. Mm. Uh, the health center there about. Okay we go on we go on we go on we go on we go on. Eh igwa yin na nwi yen wo polo a building valo le about. So those uh, buildings need the uh, Equipment. equipment. Oh, okay. Then Obu, my well, uh, primary health center and Obu. Mm. Uh, hey, I need the for equipment. So what do you want to when you was up here? Then in all of them, we'll go around tomorrow mm. and see what uh, who gets what. Okay. Um, and I will we'll have to distribute those equipment. Carvalhoval, Live Edge, Um I'll make a special mention of uh, Doctor Peter Nemeka. I am very proud in America. Uh, he has been championing this course, mm. and he has been saying to it all these equipment and if more good than I've lived to labor and uh, it's mostly from him. He helps because uh, in the United States, most of these are controlled medications that must be assessed by a medical professional. Oh, okay. So that is the role he has been playing, and mm. he has been. It has been wonderful. Yeah, that's good. Yes. Then again, our outgoing uh, president, mm. Bo uh, Chief John Oni Johnny, Johnny Onibo, mm. he has been amazing. In fact, he started it all. Mm. You know, he started this. He he, he was 
uh, in conjunction with others, yes. you know, that started this program. And John and Yolanda Bayakari, mm. so yes, we also intend to continue. Okay. Yeah, that is beautiful. doctor? Abram Doctor. Yeah. Abram Doctor. I have an air conditioning business in America. Okay. Yes, and uh, I've always been a businessman from Nigeria. And uh, yes, um, I trained as an uh, what they call emergency medical technician okay. in the U.S. Yeah. I worked in the energy ambulance, the yes. balloon, the mud. Uh, I did that for a bit. Mm -hmm. Had my own business too, as an, uh, an ambulance business. Oh, okay. but yeah, but I did it for a while and stopped. Yes, okay. I got into something else. Mm -hmm. yes. mm -hmm. So Abram, a health professional okay. in the true sense of it, but I am trained okay. a little bit. Yes. Yeah, thank you very much. And uh, I begin to wonder, you are doing this. Is it flowing so smoothly, so effortlessly? Where, what area have you uh, okay. uh, having challenges or what? Lapses have you noticed since you started doing this? Okay. I will also make another special mention of uh, Mwe Recreation Club because uh, we are, it is a collaboration, Mwe American Heritage Foundation and Mwe Recreation, Recreation Club. Club that made this happen. Mm -hmm. Yes. We were uh, bringing the logistics from America. They are on ground facilitating things. Yes. So, yes, we worked very well. Um, we've had some challenges of publicity. Uh, this one, the turnout wasn't that bad because I mean we have two doctors. They would have been overwhelmed if it was way more than this. But that, that's what I've been saying. Yes. Sir. But uh, going forward, we have uh, also noticed areas that we need to improve. Uh, we need to get more doctors and also uh, improve our publicity so that we'll have greater turnout. Because even will not go out there. Yeah. It's a lot of medication, and the essence is for it to work for our people to keep them healthy. Yes, that's beautiful. So, Ndina and Weroike, those who couldn't come today, what uh, what chances of attention do they have, or what other alternative arrangements are yeah. there for them? Okay, um, we we'll have uh, our sister, uh, Mrs. Bele Ndigwe, uh, okay. that is on ground. She has been a, she has been wonderful in handling these people, and uh, giving these refills of medication. Okay. Uh, and uh, Dr. Ebuni uh, also told me that there were people he saw the last time two years ago, yeah. because COVID did not allow the program to take place last year. Last year. Yes. Yeah, so he's, and he has been following up. So if there's any critical need, then she can reach out to Dr. Ebuni and uh, they'll take care of it. So there's actually continuity. Yeah, absolutely, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yes. That, that's like, like this is not the first time. No, 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 no. I'm not talking about continuity in terms of uh, annual, you know, but it just doesn't end today. like today, yes. Absolutely. A few hours today and then they are left till next year. There is follow-up. There is some amount of follow-up. Absolutely. Yes. And that is why it is important that we use our homegrown doctors yes. and uh, medical professionals. Yes. Uh, Dr. Ebuna gave me an instance of a man he followed. That when he saw the man, he was so shocked that is a vital sign that he had to follow through with the man yes. afterwards. And he has managed it for a couple of months until the man became stable. You know, so yes, there is continuity. So, uh, Dr. Ebuna continued to see the man yes. after the one of last year. Yes, last uh, two years. After yes. last year. Yes. And yes. made sure. I think that is, that's commendable. That's, yes. That's, yes. But that's exactly like Dr. Ebuna. We know yes. him. Yes, we do. <laughs> it's exactly like him. We do. We do. It's, we it's, do. It's so, we're also of... looking forward to uh, engaging some more uh, younger doctors mm. who can also be as committed as Dr. Ebuna has shown to be. Yeah. And uh, we hope to take this to a level where people look forward to it and wait for it, know that for this it. is an event that is going to happen during yes. these festivities. Yes. And also see if we have um, uh, the resources to probably do it at other times, like Easter and uh, some other times. You know, maybe in Bob and Madna and Akatanon. We are looking at, uh, we are still looking at our options. I, I think somebody mentioned that uh, we need to have it more often. One I of the patients I, mentioned that. I totally uh, agree with that. Okay. Just one last thing. So here, uh, this Hoopla Wall TV, and uh, I've been talking with the president of the Umweru American Heritage okay. Foundation, um, Ndubisi. Ndubisi, are you chief or honorable? Mister. Or? Me. <laughs> yes, deliberately, um, Mr. Ndubisi. Okay, so we'll put it this way. 
deliberately, <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Ndubisi, uh, you know, uh, Ndubisi, Chukwu, Emeka. Yes. Uh, thank you very much. And uh, the, where we are is a uh, recreation club. Yes. And the occasion is the free medical outreach to people of the Omabala region, wherever yeah. it's not Umwere alone. No. I understand today all sorts of people have come in from the neighboring communities, communities. and they've been treated without discrimination. Absolutely. Absolutely. So we are here at Umwere Recreation uh, Club. Uh, we are having this free medical outreach. And um, so let's just end uh, with this. Uh, you talked about arrangements. We are people who are here today can continue to refill their their medication yes. if it should run out and something. Yes. How would they access it? If somebody happens to have that need, how would they um, access it? Like I said, we have our sister who works at the General Hospital. So they know about That's her. Ebele. Ebele Ndigo. Ndigo. Okay, yes. she's uh, at the General Hospital. Yeah, she works, works at the General Hospital. Uh, is she a no, medical doctor? No, or? she's a, a lab scientist, but she okay. has been doing this refill. This is something she already she's already doing. Yes. Yes, so... Okay, that's beautiful. Yes, it's comforting yes. to know that we have somebody Yeah, we have someone on the ground mm. and very reliable. Uh, and, and by the way, talking about the General Hospital, um, what are the plans of the American Heritage Foundation towards the hospital? Okay. Um, as it is today, that people are able to see it and uh, is as a result of the efforts mm. of um, the American Heritage Foundation. Mm. Yes, we have been uh, working. Someone just some someone today was uh, 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 taking me on on why we have not been showing attention, and I I am always uh, I always try to tell people that the resources that is required to get that place to the standard we need it to be at. It's not, um, it's not some change. It's, it requires some lot government of, lot, lot of, input. Yes. Where the people have been doing wonderfully well in trying to keep that place going. going yeah. And um, the state government had promised to come in, and we're still waiting on them. And we're expecting that the incoming administration in Anambra State would answer to our call. The outgoing uh, government promised us uh, to come in and do it. While we had we had a convention, with our our theme of that convention was uh, the rehabilitation of Umwere General Hospital. Mm. At some point, we started it, but the state government was, uh, came and said, "You guys should uh, hands off. We're going to take care of it." Okay. We were talking with the commissioner of. Uh, of uh, health at yeah. the time, yeah. but uh, all of a sudden he was removed. Mm -hmm. So you know how it is, the bureaucracy and everything, yeah. you have to start afresh. Okay. And um, of course the airport took all the attention, mm -hmm. And uh, but our focus is still on that general hospital. Okay. We have to get it to its old glory. Okay. Um, our time is really stretched. Uh, we should have stopped this a few minutes ago. But I think there is something that we still, that's very important, okay. we need to address. And that is issue of um, you have done so much, but like you have said, there is still more Absolutely. to be done. Oh, so um, my thoughts are, suppose there is somebody out there watching this, seeing this video, and the person is moved to help. In what ways do you think that such a person could chip in? Okay. Uh, I would say thankfully we have an Igwe that is also working with us, mm. working closely with them with the American Heritage Foundation. Mm. Yes, in this regard. So there's someone on ground, the person can reach and say, please, this is how I want to come in. The need is huge it's in huge. that hospital. It's the, huge. Need is, the need is very big. So our outlook is to uh, complete the living quarters in the place, put in like some solar to give uh, light there at least. Once there's light, continuous non-stop light there. Yes. If we have light in the living quarters and have people reside in the hospital, yes. that will be the very first step yes. as far as I'm concerned. Then we'll get to other things. Like I said, the need is huge. We'll have to prioritize and uh, take them as they come. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. How did you put it? Deliberate <laughs> chief. <laughs> <laughs> Deliberate Mr. Ndubusi. <laughs> Thank you. It's been nice and inspiring talking with you. Thank you so sir. you out there, you have had uh, the president of Umweri, American Heritage Foundation, uh, who has been working with the Umweri Recreation Club to uh, make possible this event today.
the Umwe Free Medical Outreach. Um, it's been uh, an eye-opening experience for me. It's been inspiring, and I've been so happy to be part of it. So thank you very much for your efforts, and uh, we'll also thank uh, your partners, Umwe Recreation Club. Yes. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you very much.